Hi everyone, I'm Jack Red, and this is a bonus video. I just figured to make a couple to help make you wait for my newer videos after the convention, and I was really impressed that a lot of people like my take on the top five Sonic games. So I decided to basically do something I kind of did before, but it's about the time I just threw it out of the bag. Um, you already know what the worst of all Mario games is. But what if I gave you a top 5 list on the top 5 worst Mario games ever? Now, I have two controversial choices on the list. And with good reasons, you can understand why they have to be on the list. I know this is going to piss a lot of you off. And I know I can get cussed out until probably a couple years from now. But the point is, this is my list. Please don't be a bitch. I kindly ask again, please don't be a bitch. And let's get right on the list. Now, here is one of the most controversial things I've ever done for a list. Even though technically this game is good, it's just, it was too much like another Mario game. What I'm getting at is, everyone played Super Mario Bros. on NES. It was good shit, but the sad truth is, Super Mario Bros. 2, the original Super Mario Bros. 2, was just slightly harder A skin of Super Mario Bros. It had some new things, but if you think about it, it just feel feel like you were just playing the same game with slightly new level designs and it was going to piss you off even more. You know it was a good game, it was just frustrating, it was too much like the original and that's pretty much why we got a different two than they did. I know a lot of people are probably thinking by this, what the hell are you thinking? What are you smoking? Are you drunk? Um, did I do anything that they deserve? to basically do something like this, you know, but the sad truth is, I didn't want to put this one on the list, or the next one on the list, but if you, if you think through these reasons, there's a good reason why I'm putting these on the list. And another reason I had to put this on the list was because, um, it, I mainly did it to see what, if, um, Sony Craig, who, who usually makes top 10 videos, maybe even top 5 best and worst videos, you know, if he somehow, somehow like, comes around, you know, and tells me what he exactly thinks if I put Mario 2, the original one here, instead of the American 2. I really do want to hear what he would say that. Number four is Punch-Out. The original one, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, was one of the best NES games you can ever play. Also, one of the best boxing games in general. But, since uh, Mike Tyson had some issues, Nintendo decided to release the game with Adam and basically make basically a white version of him. And that didn't seem so well. That actually kind of caused a bit of racism with Nintendo with that. So, with that being said, Mario is the referee in there. And it just didn't feel too much the same. Even the codes were gone. So, you know, you're just going to get pissed more and more about it. And a lot of people actually think that Mike Tyson was actually harder than taking on Mr. Dream. So, let's, let's get down to it. <laughs> Number three is Mario's Missing. This game was really bad. It was really shitty. It was the first game to have Luigi, not Mario, and you had to go and fight him. The other one being Luigi's Mansion. This kind of sounds familiar to you because they kind of did the similar thing with Tails on the Sonic franchise with two Game Gear games, and they didn't turn out well either. In fact, I think they turned out just as bad, maybe even worse, but who knows, um... <sighs> it was just so freaking bad, I mean, an education game with Mario going around the world as a Luigi, you know, it just pisses you off so much. It just boils you down, and you're just like, oh my god, man, what were they thinking? They definitely crept on an idea that wasn't even interesting. But, you know, it could have been at least something interesting to look into, so. Number two is Wrecking Crew, because the thing is that some of the levels are nearly impossible to beat if you screw it up. You can even screw up your own creative level section in the game, and, you know, it's just so annoying. You can't directly kill the enemies, and it's one hit you die situation, unless you get knocked out off the level, like, um, off the part of the level by Spike, your competition. And some, you know, it's just frustrating. But at least one good thing about it is you can select any level you want. And of course, like I said, you create a level thing. Sorry if it looks like I have a beard. I've been feeling pretty low down. 
But hell, it doesn't matter. The number one worst Mario game that I have played, and it's not Hotel Mario, it's not Mario Clash. That one, in my opinion, I don't know what was up with that one. But um, in front of this one, and no Mario game, I, I just realized that there was a Mario game I played from my childhood that actually sucks today. I, I'm not going to bring up Mario early years because back when I was a kid I actually enjoyed that. This, however, the Super Nintendo one was complete crap. I mean, look, you get the, those answers that big. And you're just like, okay, I'm going to look on the line, look for all these walkthroughs, see what the answer is. you got a little bit of time to search through them, and put it there. It's like, do we really need all these choices? Why couldn't they just make it like at least like... Who wants to be a millionaire? Level it down to four and pick the right one, or three in some cases. It's just not right. It's and look at Sonic's CD for crying out loud. It might not do that, but at least you still had a time trial where it was fun. So, it, it, how this game screwed up really bad is beyond me. You play as Mario. You go through the time machine. You got to go through these time periods. Oh yeah, and what makes this game worse is is the NES version. Rips all as it actually has a cheap imitation of Mario Brothers. That is good reason alone to put that on on there. But since I'm just criticizing the Super Nintendo one, let's just stick with that. The Super Nintendo one, in my opinion, sucks. It was Mario game I ever played, and I hope all you Mario fans don't get pissed off at number four, uh, number five and four. So I'm Jack Ray. Hope you enjoyed the video. And one more thing, before the video goes out, that I'm um, I'm currently waiting for the next playthroughs by Cornjack. You know, I'm just curious of how some of these games are actually going to play. I've seen uh, actual uh, videos on how some of them are actually played out of the way. Some I couldn't even get more than just like a little portion. So, I'll probably see them. Um, and I actually do know in our game that he will be doing for the movie uh, mom thing, but I'm not going to spoil it. I am going to let you know it does look like crap, and you're going to hate it. You really are gonna hate what this game is. So I'm Jack Grant. Uh, I'm basically saying thank you very much for watching my videos, and see y'all later. And sorry for being nervous.